Hi everyone, Cosmic Mango here, your favorite mango from outer space. I hope you're all having an excellent day. Is life gain your jam in Commander? Do you enjoy watching your life counter roll up to crazy heights while everyone else's on the table drops way down? Then this is the perfect video for you because we're gonna have a look at five life gain commanders that are highly fun to pick up and play. Before we get into the list, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more awesome commander videos. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's dive into these commanders. Number one, Zoraline Cosmos Caller, a legendary creature bat cleric that costs one black, one white, and one generic mana to cast. It has free power and free toughness and says the following. Flying Vigilance. Whenever a bat you control attacks, you gain one life. Whenever Zoraline enters or attacks, you may pay one white and one black and two life. When you do, return target non-land permanent card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. It's crazy how good low casting cost legendaries are getting now in Commander. Zoraline does a lot of amazing things for just free total mana. If you like the idea of gaining loads of life and running a deck filled with bats, then Zoling could be the perfect commander for you. It's a pretty unique commander, giving a home to Bat Tribal, which isn't a tribe you see very often in commander, unless they are mixed in with the vampire decks, of course. It's a very easy to trigger ability, um, very easy to trigger the life gain trigger on Zoraline, as all you have to do is attack with a bat. And don't forget, bats have wings. So 99% of the time, they probably have flying, making them highly evasive. Finally, Zoraline has an excellent ability that can be activated when we attack with it, or when it enters. All we have to do is pay two total mana and two life, and we can bring back non-land permanent with three or less from our graveyard. Great recursion on this commander. Two super cards I highly recommend running alongside this commander are, Desecrated Tomb, which is a superb artifact, easy to cast at just free total mana, and can synergize very well with our commander Zoraline, giving us more wonderful bats to attack with. And Lunar Convocation, a great card which does a lot of great stuff which is two total mana, life drain, and creates us bats. And if we have spare mana to dump into, we can draw cards with this enchantment as well. Very, very good. Overall, Zoling Cosmos Caller is a wonderful bat tribal commander with superb life gain shenanigans attached to it. Very worth trying out. And you can buy this commander for around $1.80. Number two, Elisa Shroud of Dusk. A legendary creature angel that costs one black and two generic mana to cast. She has five power and five toughness and says the following. Rather than pay two generic mana for each previous time you've cast a spell from the command zone this game, pay two life that many times. Flying lifelink, whenever a player casts a spell, they lose two life. Okay, Lisa is a very powerful commander, incredibly popular in the format and a lot of fun to pick up and play with. She has a very unique ability of being able to bypass command attacks with life, which is fantastic. Not many commanders in the format have methods for bypassing command attacks, so this alone makes her pretty intriguing. Paying two life instead of two generic mana each time she's removed is way more easily achieved, especially if you're building a life gain deck. Which, guess what? <laughs> you totally will be since she makes a freaking awesome life gain commander. She's an excellent life gain commander with the capability of draining opponent's life totals down rapidly once she's out, as each time they cast a spell, they lose two life. However, be warned, this affects us as well. So make sure you're stacking that life up before you get her out. Two high synergy cards I would pair with Lisa are Kambal, Console of Allocation. I like this card a lot. When paired with Lisa, you can really dish out the life drain to your opponents and make them think twice before casting any spells. And Sanquin Bond, an excellent enchantment spell that synergizes incredibly well in a life gain deck. They were running in any life gain deck to be honest with you and does very very well with Lisa of course. Overall, Lisa Shroud of Dusk makes a truly excellent life gain commander and a powerful one when utilized well. You can buy this commander for around 80 cents. Number three, Will, Scion of Peace. A legendary creature, human wizard that costs one white, one blue and one generic command to cast. He has two power and four toughness and says the following. Vigilance, tap, 
spells you cast this turn that are white and or blue cost X less to cast, where X is the amount of life you gained this turn. Activate only as a sorcery. Will is pretty cool, right? Being able to cast spells at a reduced price is always nice. Will rewards us highly based on how much life we gain on each of our turns. This is because the more life we gain, the larger reduction we get for the spell we want to cast. Spell reduction is no joke, it's a powerful tool when utilized well. Combine Will with a life gain deck and you'll be having an absolute blast. A must have card for this commander is Rox Thaifmender. <laughs> That's a funny name. Rox is an incredibly good in any life gain deck, to be honest with you. Being able to double the amount of life you gain is crazy good, and when paired with Commander Will, things get rather bonkers. This is an auto include, in my opinion. Overall, if spell reduction and life gain sounds fun to you, then give Will a sign of peace a chance. He is very good. You can buy this commander for around one dollar. Hey guys, quick little break here to talk about Paramount Designs. They make amazing playmats for Magic the Gathering and any other card game that you're interested in. I have a special coupon, special offer code that you can collect in my YouTube description below. Really easy, scroll down to the description, click the link and you're going to get like a 15% discount on your next order from Paramount Designs. Highly recommend doing it. These designs are super durable and they have amazing artwork. There's loads of stuff you can pick from. Great stuff. So yeah, check them out. Let's go back to the video. Number four, Lathiel the Bounteous Dawn. A legendary creature unicorn that costs one white, one green and two generic command to cast. It has two power and two toughness and says the following. Lifelink. At the beginning of each end step, if you gain life this turn, distribute up to that many plus one plus one counters among any number of other target creatures. Okay, Lathiel fits perfectly into the life gain strategies, which often involve numerous cards that allow you to gain life. The more life gain triggers you can gain per turn cycle, the more you can exploit Lathiel's abilities and distribute those precious plus one plus one counters among creatures on the battlefield. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can even give opponents creatures plus one plus one counters, which could lead to some really interesting political plays as well. As a commander in the Silencio green-white color identity, Lathiel has access to a large range of powerful life gain spells, making it a great commander to brew with. A card I highly recommend to run alongside this commander is Essence Warden. This elf shaman is going to help us gain a lot of life triggers throughout the game, helping us distribute a lot of plus one plus one counters. Imagine how many creatures are played in the game of commander. It's usually a lot, yeah? Making this card synergize very well with Lathiel. Overall, Lathiel is a wonderful life gaining unicorn that can pack quite a punch. And you can buy this commander for around 50 cents, which is a very nice little budget card. Number five, the final commander on my list today. Trelasara. Trelasara. That's a funny name. Okay, Trelasara Moon Dancer. A legendary creature elf cleric that costs one white and one green mana, has two power and two toughness, and says the following. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on Trelasara, Moon Dancer, and Scry One. Look at the top card of your library, you may put that card on the bottom. Okay, this commander is very uncommon, you rarely see it, so I thought she would be a fun addition to the video. Also, she's got a pretty wacky name. <laughs> Hopefully I'm pronouncing it somewhat correctly. So this commander is pretty powerful. Considering she only costs two total mana to cast, which makes her very efficient, she can come out as early as turn two, maybe even turn one if you're lucky enough. She offers a rather linear but simple approach to commander deck brewing, but she's very reliable and powerful. Whenever we gain life, we give her a plus one plus one counter and we get to scry. Now the scry is actually pretty fundamental here in my opinion, as it gives us a look at what's going on the top of our library, or well, what's gonna be at the top of our library. And if we don't like what we see, we can put it far away at the bottom, offering reliable insights and hopefully get a better card in return from the top of our deck. She's an amazing commander, great in life game decks, and she can make an amazing Voltron commander as well, because she's gonna get big rather rapidly. A great card that I would pair with this commander is Conclave Mentor. This is a great creature with a low casting cost that can do wonders when paired alongside our commander Trelasara. It also has some great card draw attached to it as well, which is always nice. Combine that with Scry and things could get pretty good. 
Overall, if you're looking for a budget-friendly commander that can be fun to play, then this is the one for you. You can buy this commander for as little as 35 cents, making it incredibly budget-friendly. Okie dokie, we've arrived to the end of the video. What do you think of the commanders I've listed? Do you have any recommendations on some fun life game commanders? If so, let me know in the comment section below. I love reading your comments and always try my best to answer them all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out the two other videos that should have popped up on the screen. Please, could you drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel? And don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep updated for more of my future commander content. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, take care and goodbye.